Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today, dessert is on the menu at the Young's house. I'm so excited to be able to share with you how I make strawberry fudge. This strawberry fudge is so easy. It does not require a lot of ingredients. Matter of fact, we're only gonna use three ingredients and listen here, they taste so good. Here's what you're gonna need to make Gina Young style, strawberry fudge. You all never had this before, you better make you some. Okay, everyone, make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with the recipe. Now, what I have, you can see that I have this disposable baking dish, okay? And then you're gonna need some parchment paper. If you can't get a hold of parchment paper or you don't have any, it's okay to use aluminum foil. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to bend this to make it properly fit, which is really a piece of cake. Okay, I got the cookie baking sheets that are pre-cut, okay? So, you're gonna need a measuring cup. The measuring cup isn't to measure anything. That's just how I like to, to start everything. You're gonna need some beautiful strawberries. Now, if you wanted to use some type of freeze-dried strawberries, you can. Or if you wanted to use a strawberry preserve, absolutely you can. I like to use the fresh strawberries. It's amazing. I wanna give these strawberries a nice wash and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, our strawberries are washed. If you hear a little bit of buzzing in the background, um, it's Dakota in the back and he's getting his hair He's getting his hair cut um, in a back room that's close to this room. So the first thing that you wanna do is you need chocolate chips. You need white chocolate chips, okay? And this is a 11 ounce bag. And then you're going to need whipped strawberry frosting. It doesn't have to be whipped, but just as long as it's strawberry flavor, okay? Now, some of you have, have asked me, a lot of you asked me, Gina, please show us how to make your fudge. How do you make fudge? I do have another video for fudge. Feel free to check that video out as well. Um, and it's very similar to this. I believe the fudge that I made was a peanut butter fudge. Fudge does not have to be difficult. It never has to, you know, some people make fudge and they use all of the all of these ingredients that you don't really need. Watch this, guys. Watch how quick and simple. And once you make these, watch how quick they leave that dinner table. You're gonna put those out on the platter and people are just gonna grab them. They're gonna be gone in no time. So I highly suggest that you make two or three of these batches for the holiday. You definitely want these on your dinner table for the holiday for dessert. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the bag of white chocolate chips, just like so. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. I hope that you all are having a great work week as well. I'm gonna take this measuring cup and I want to melt the chocolate. Now what I'm gonna do, this is very important. I'm gonna melt it in the microwave, but I'm gonna do 30 second increments at a time. If I check this at 30 seconds and it's not fully I melt it, then we'll put it back on for another 30 minutes. If it's not done after that, we'll do another 30 minutes. But check on it because this can burn. You don't want this to burn. And you also don't want the want to put this into a wet bowl because it will change the consistency of your chocolate. This is going in the microwave right now. Here's what my white chocolate chips look like after 30 seconds. Okay, just barely melted. So I'm gonna put them in for another 30 seconds. Okay, everyone, what I had to do was put this on another 30 seconds and it was, it was good, I had to stir it around, and then I felt like I needed another more, another 10 seconds. So now we have this beautiful melted white chocolate. This is what it should look like, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. 
here's what we're gonna do. And you wanna kind of work fast. We're gonna take all of this icing, strawberry icing, and get it well mixed in. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Now, here's the thing. If some of you want it to look swirly, you know, you want the pink and the white to show through, then don't mix it up all the way, okay? Me, personally, I like to, um, I like to mix mine up all the way, okay? So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of strawberries in. I'm just gonna put a few pieces in here and there once we get this poured into our pan, okay? I'm trying to work a little fast, just like so. This right here is the fudge. <laughs> Simple, right? You better believe it is. Now here's what you do. You take and you just kind of make sure that you put the parchment paper right into the pan and then you start to put your fudge directly and if you have some streaks going through of the white and the pink it's fine no worries don't worry about everything okay i'll do all the worrying for you all okay so here's what we're going to do we have it into the pan now we're going to give it a nice smear okay you want to push it all to the edges make sure that we get it nice and even and we're going to take a few strawberries just a few strawberries don't get crazy with the strawberries and then we're going to push some of the strawberries down into our fudge and that's it and then all you have to do is put this in the refrigerator and let it set up for at least an hour and a half and you have amazing fudge that your family members and loved ones are gonna go crazy over. Trust me when I tell you this. And this right here, this serves as a handle. You'll be able to just pop it right out when you use aluminum foil or parchment paper like we're using today, okay? Get it up against the edges, just like so. Smooth it out until it's nice and smooth, okay? Now, if you want it to, um, you can also melt the icing if you're worried about it setting up a little too fast, but it's really up to your discretion. You don't have to melt the icing. So next, let's go ahead and cut up some strawberries. You can cut up a whole lot of strawberries if you want, but you, what you need to do is you need to have those strawberries ready. I should have had my strawberries ready, but guess what? I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> you better believe I ain't gonna worry about nothing. All right, just like this, simple. Everything's nice and smooth. Try to make it even as possible so that all of your cuts of fudge can be even, okay? So now, set that aside. I've washed my beautiful strawberries, okay? I'm gonna cut squares, okay? And you just push them down in there, okay? I like for them to shine through. But if you, like I said, if you wanna push yours all the way in, you better believe you can, okay? Just like this. You want every bite to have a piece of strawberry. You can push these all the way in where you can't see them, but when they get cut, you'll be able to see them. However you wanna do it, it'd be just fine, okay? So I'm gonna continue to do this just like so. This is a recipe that the kids can do. You better believe they can. And they're gonna, they'll help you with this for the holidays and they'll enjoy it and have so much fun. They really will. And then when they get older, they'll understand what the kitchen is all about. As long as you let them join in and help you with recipes when they're younger. Just like this, isn't it? It's like beautiful already, right? When you put this in a refrigerator, you don't have to cover it. You can cover it with plastic wrap if you like, but you don't have to. Or aluminum foil, that's fine. Just get it nice and cold and it'll set up just beautifully for you. Hooey! And listen here, I've even done this with, um, as I mentioned earlier, with strawberry preserves. Strawberry preserves makes this a little bit darker in color and then you will get that strawberry going all throughout your fudge as well. 
I just think it's really different when you use that fresh strawberry. It really makes it pop. It gives it amazing flavor. All the sweetness, and then you have that little bit of tartness. You know, just that little, barely little bit of tartness going through of the fresh fruit. Beautiful. Mm. I tell you one thing, my mouth is watering so bad right now. That's how bad I can't wait to eat this. It's been at least a year since I've had, um, what am I making guys? Fudge. But I tell you what, I try to make it every year because my family absolutely adores it. And I adore it as well. Ooh, -ay. So now I'm gonna go in, my hands are impeccably clean, okay? I'm gonna go in and make sure everything is nice and flat, just like so, as it should be. And I'm gonna bring it up to the camera so you all can see what this should look like. And we're gonna put this right into the refrigerator. There's no boiling anything. This is it. You mean to tell me this is it? You better believe this is it. And it's so good. I cannot stress how good this is. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Look at that going in the refrigerator right now. And when it's nice and cool, I'll come back. We'll slice down into this. We're gonna see a beautiful prayer over this. We're gonna taste this. And I'm gonna let you know what this tastes like. You better make you some. Look at that. Simple, right? And beautiful. So I'm just gonna wait patiently. I'm gonna smear some of this white chocolate all over the strawberry, and I'm gonna indulge in this one strawberry. <laughs> and I'm gonna wait on my fudge. Be back. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, everybody, it's been one and a half hours in the refrigerator, uncovered it. You can keep it covered or uncovered. Voila, we have beautiful strawberry fudge, and it should pull out ever so slightly just like this kick that aside you have fudge just pull the sides down voila quick and simple if you want yours to be much thicker it all depends on the size of how thin your you know your uh, fudge will be if you want to double the recipe and put it in the same pan you can have nice thick slices now we're going to go ahead and say a beautiful prayer over this amazing dessert and then we're gonna dive in. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful dessert. We thank you, Lord, for the gift that you've given me to share with the world. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding and your blessing. Send your angels down to surround us all day and night in your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. Heavenly Father, I pray for all of my subscribers and I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. I thank you, Lord, for your blessings, your love and your mercy. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. We thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the joy, and the peace that you bring us daily. Amen. Let's dig in. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut us some. All right. Just slice right down into that bad boy, just like so. Okay, how am I going to cut the pieces, guys? <laughs> just get in there and cut it. That's what you do. Don't even worry about it, just cut it. Look at this, so exciting. Everyone in this house is so excited to taste this. I have to guys, it broke off and I have to. <laughs> amen to my beautiful prayer if I didn't already say amen. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. it's so good. It's so good, and here's the thing about this. So simple, you know? Who doesn't love a simple recipe that everybody's going to enjoy? 
the kids will enjoy it. The adults will enjoy it. Anybody you make this for, they're going to enjoy it. You better believe they will. Okay, so now that we have everything nice and cut, look at this. Look at this Gina Young style strawberry fudge 101. Very quick and simple. Look at this. Taste this. Taste that bad boy right there and let me know what y'all think about this. Hurry up and take a bite because I can't wait. I want to bite right there where those two strawberries are. Mmm. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, God, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. And see, what you want to do, definitely, definitely make this with the, with the fresh strawberries. This is amazing. It's something you want to keep refrigerated. Okay? And that's it. Just put a piece of plastic wrap on it. And voila, make sure that you all check out the video for my peanut butter fudge, okay? Because it's so easy. If you want to make a chocolate fudge or you all want me to show you how to make chocolate fudge, let me know in the comment section and I'll make it for you. It's a piece of cake. It doesn't get any easier than this. Everything that I make in this kitchen you all can do as well. And believe it or not, it's gonna turn out exactly like mine's would. Really quick and simple, look how beautiful. I need a larger platter, but I'm just gonna put it on this little plate that I have here. So much fun. Once again, if y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that notification bell Tell all your family members and everyone you know all about me. Tell them what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're going to take one more bite out of this, and I'm going to sign off. You all wouldn't believe it's 10 o'clock p.m., <laughs> and I'm ending the night with this amazing video. Look at this. I'm going to take one more bite out of this. Mm. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. You better make yourself. Mm, doggone, you better make yourself.